welcome back friends to Julie Creators Academy. In today's video, I have something amazing to share with you. So I finally got my hands on Rhinoceros 8 and the new version of Grasshopper Gold. And just to test it out, um, you have everything you need and it looks like the IO looks better. I really like how it looks. Millimeters, European, USA. Oh, it's wonderful. You have some lower sizes, which I like. Let's start with a size seven, create. I really like the IO. Um, this is actually my first impressions. I just installed it and started working. I haven't even created my own template. So let me walk you real quick of how I set up Rhino. Um, usually I go to options here. And the first things that I do is I change the colors and I change some of the options, mostly the view. Uh, displayed modes. And the first thing I change, or most of the time what I change is my curves or my objects and one of the things that i'm going to do in here right on uh the display icon which now you have tabs on the side let me move this a little bit further out just lock it in there and isocurbs that's the number one thing that i always move isocurbs and um just when i create geometry i can uh, i don't have it's not too busy and my graphics card is not uh, struggling. The other thing that you can turn on and turn off is mesh wires, depending on the view, of course. So I'm in wireframe and there's other things that I'm going to change. So if you're in shadows or ghosted, you can take off, uh, where it's mesh wires and that way it looks cleaner in this, especially if you have high density, uh, meshes, this would alleviate some of the struggling with your computer. If you don't have a very powerful CPU. In my case, I have a 3080 Ti and you know, there's more than enough power on this computer. And I'm running a 5950 uh, AMD CPU with uh, uh, 16 cores, 32 threads. All right, so first things first, uh, let's go to view and the things that I would change in my display, it would be wireframe. Uh, okay, so isocurves is off. I'm gonna open and I'm gonna go to objects. Okay, it looks great. So let's go in there. Again, display, let's go to shaded objects. And I turn on these icons. Just when I select things, I like it to select the thing and not show the mesh wires on it or the isocurve. So usually I click those two in. And then I go into curves and in the scale um, has to be number two. Click OK. But let's change it on what view am I? I mean, ghost is go to shade it. Okay, so that's better. I changed it to number two just because it feels a little bit better on one. If I'm in uh, wireframe, it just looks too thin. So I, I change uh, the thickness of all my curves. So let's do it again. Let's go to um, wireframe, let's go to objects, open it up, go to curves. So from one, I'm gonna change it to two. And it's going to change the thickness in here right now. So number two, enter, and I'm going to put OK. There you go. So th that looks a lot better. The other way it was like too thin and I can't tell too much. So that's the first things that I would recommend to change. So I'm on wireframe, shaded, uh, render. I don't use it. Ghost is the one I changed. So same, go to objects, click this too and open objects go to curves and this one we're going to change it to a number two just as all consistent enter uh let's go back sometimes an x-ray you can use this so same go to objects click on these two icons shaded highlight and shaded highlight select meshes and polysurfaces open curves and changes to two enter and once i have that done artist technical okay and click OK. So that way, every time I have a piece in here, I can just view it nicely. All right. So how I change my theme is very easy. All I need is just the background to be white in my colors. And the reason that I do that is because I print a lot of the paper that I'm working on to make notes when I sit with my clients. So to me, it's easier just to print and not having to waste so much paint on the black background, which would be very, very unuseful or this gray background. So what I do is I go in there and I'm going to go into appearance, click in here, open into colors. And here is where you change most of your colors. So I'm going to move it in here. First thing I do is go background 
and I change that to white. Click OK. Let's go. Let's change both to the light gray. OK, that's better. But I think I need a little bit darker in here. Yes, that's the way. So second one, it has a little bit of darker color. The rest, they can stay the same, but I can just click on it and go to a little bit darker color on the red. It just it seems a little bit better. Maybe a little bit more on the lighter side. Maybe there. Click OK. Yeah, I think that works. Same with green. Maybe around here. See, that seems a little bit easier to view. The rest, I'll leave it alone. Oh, yeah. Selected objects. Selected objects. Let's go for a weird gold color okay, there. So every time I select something, it just changes to the color. The yellow, I don't like much. Well, you can change your tracking lines. For example, I can go with this red and cross section. I can go with this red. That way I can I can I can see everything better. And this is for your widget color, so that's fine. So these are the basic things that I change. Well, the first thing I change when I have uh, Rhino. So I'm very happy to hear it. You can already change it to dark view, which is really really cool. Um, personally, I might not use them. I'm just gonna stay with a light color. No, yeah, so go back to, or you can just restore the folds. Click OK and click in here again and go back and do the same so i'm gonna have to so they're okay click this one and go over the light darker gray second one with the light gray okay so this i do the same go with the lighter color green somewhere around there okay that's perfect this one I'm just gonna go darker in here kind of yellowish Perfect. This two, I'll go to this darker red tracking lines. I can go a little bit brighter and the cross. I can go with a bigger red. Okay. So that looks okay. Click. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Let me erase that and I'm going to save it as a template. So go save as a template. And since I designed jewelry, the only thing I do is I go here, I'll change it to jewelry jewelry and that is my template for that that is amazing another thing that i always change is my uh snapping points uh and i go end near point uh mid center i skip inter intersection perpendicular tangent quad not vertex vertex i use it for um anything has to do with meshes project i will leave it alone um, let's see what else I have here. Uh, disable project. Uh, if I'm drawing perspective, I'll take project off. If I'm drawing in any of my flat views, I'll turn project on. And that's pretty much it. Let's do the same. Save as a template. Hit on jewelry. Yes. So that is my template for that. And that's kind of how I start things out. You can look at layers. Um, it's just very basic there's nothing in it um maybe i will customize a little bit more but this is kind of like the template i will use 90 percent of the time unless i change some things uh i would change just this area here i'm used to the two columns already and let's just see drag that put it down a little bit yes can i move this yes i can move it perfect so this one i like it oh whoops so let's put it back in there. Um, oh, selection. That's amazing. That's new. So let's see. Can I put it here? Perfect. Um, I'm more used to this view. Let's see. Can I leave there? Selection on snap. Yes. There we go. And this section here, I also don't use it. So I'm going to hide the tabs. So let me show you how to do that. You can go up right click on here and put high tabs okay there it is another way if you don't like to have your layers here um you can go in here and open your layers and view them that way uh if you're working with let's say display here this is where you can select your your layers as well Re um you can't rename them but at least you can turn them on turn them off um so far i'm really cool um, I'm used to this. This is like my basic template. This is the one I work 90% of the time. So, so this video is just to let you know the Grasshopper Goal 
it's working with rhinoceros 8 i've been waiting for this for quite some time and it's amazing it's got your pave your cutters your ring i would design a few things within this week i'm so excited and i would render them yeah uh, this is so cool uh everything looks about the same you just uh, I love the Rhino always has the new tab and I see what's new. Oh, okay. On group, select objects. Uh, these are all the new things that are new to Rhinoceros 8. And I can't wait to use uh, a lot of them like the cell sub D edges. That's so cool. You got twist, uh, rope profile builder in grasshopper gold. It's really, really cool. So, all right, friends. So I'll see you pretty soon with new videos. I'm so happy to be back and bring new content to you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have a comment or a question, let me know. Put it on the comment section. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so YouTube lets you know every time we make videos. All right, friends. Happy designing and I'll see you soon. Ciao.